Duke physician Eric Westman was one of the first champions of masking as a means to curtail the spread of coronavirus, working with a local nonprofit to provide free masks to at risk and underserved populations in the Greater Durham community. But he needed to know whether the virus blocking claims mask suppliers made were true, to assure he WASNT providing ineffective masks that spread viruses along with false security. So he turned to colleagues in the Duke Department of Physics, could someone test various masks for him? Martin Fisher, Ph.D., a chemist and physicist, stepped up. As director of the Advanced Light Imaging and Spectroscopy Facility, he normally focuses on exploring new optical contrast mechanisms for molecular imaging, but for this task, he MacGyvered a relatively inexpensive apparatus from common lab materials that can easily be purchased online. The setup consisted of a box, a laser, a lens, and a cell phone camera. In a proof-of-concept study appearing online August 7 in the journal Science Advances, Fisher, Westman and colleagues report that the simple, low-cost technique provided visual proof that face masks are effective in reducing droplet emissions during normal wear. We confirmed that when people speak, small droplets get expelled, so disease can be spread by talking, without coughing or sneezing, Fisher said. We could also see that some face coverings performed much better than others in blocking expelled particles. Notably, the researchers report, the best face coverings were N95 masks without valves, the hospital-grade coverings that are used by frontline health care workers. Surgical or polypropylene masks also performed well. But handmade cotton face coverings provided good coverage, eliminating a substantial amount of the spray from normal speech. On the other hand, bandanas and neck fleeces such as balaclavas didnt block the droplets much at all. This was just a demonstration, more work is required to investigate variations in masks, speakers, and how people wear them, but it demonstrates that this sort of test could easily be conducted by businesses and others that are providing masks to their employees or patrons, Fisher said. Wearing a mask is a simple and easy way to reduce the spread of COVID-19, Westman said. About half of infections are from people who don't show symptoms, and often don't know they're infected. They can unknowingly spread the virus when the cough, sneeze and just talk. If everyone wore a mask, we could stop up to 99% of these droplets before they reach someone else, Westman said. In the absence of a vaccine or antiviral medicine, it's the one proven way to protect others as well as yourself. Westman and Fisher said it's important that businesses supplying masks to the public and employees have good information about the products they're providing to assure the best protect. We wanted to develop a simple, low-cost method that we could share with others in the community to encourage the testing of materials, masks prototypes and fittings, Fisher said. The parts for the test apparatus are accessible and easy to assemble, and we've shown that they can provide helpful information about the effectiveness of masking. Westman said he put the information immediately to use, we were trying to make a decision on what type of face covering to purchase. They were no good, Westman said. The notion that anything is better than nothing didnt hold true. Quote. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you new tech videos. Thank you.